We haven't seen each other since we made the movie. Cannonball Run. So you haven't changed hardly at all. <laughs> you look great. We both haven't. Fabulous. We're holding up. We're holding up. Not as good as the car, but... <laughs> oh, no, the car, the car is bad. I haven't been in it yet, but I'm dying to see it. It was a baby. It was only two years old. I do think the opening's great. I'm sure there's great openings, but at the time, I think that was one of the best openings. Especially for with the credits rolling over it. Yeah, and, and, and yeah. that the cop car made it, chasing the Lamborghini and the speed. Well, I loved it when you jumped out of the car and did the graffiti on the speed sign. Yeah. <laughs> I have an image of my foot on a wooden block because I was too short to reach the pedals. And I didn't do a lot of the driving, obviously. Uh, you know, we had a wonderful stuff woman to do it. But I did have to drive in, and I had to drop out. Well, I thought it was beautiful. I thought the car was just beautiful. And it still is. We had the best car. Yes. Oh, no question. Well, we won the race. Hannibal Run is the, it's the photograph that sells. And it's the car that sells, because people, so many people bring the model to me. How has the movie impacted American culture? Everyone knows it. Everyone knows the Lamborghini. Everyone knows the two girls in the Lamborghini. Well. We are attached <laughs> to that. I was a kid when the movie came out, and I saw it, and especially that first four minutes of that car on the screen, it was just amazing to me. Um, and it was just so futuristic. I mean, even now, today, nearly 50 years later, it still looks amazing. It still looks incredible. The sound of the car and how it looked. And I remember the, the opening scene where the car was coming at the camera and it looked so low and so flat um, and so sinister and black. And then the sound of it, loved this car since the very first time I saw it. And I mean, it's a 1979 Lamborghini, so it's an older car. It doesn't have the, the creature comforts that you would say of a new car or even a new Lamborghini. But it has all that, that raw power and sound to it. And it is, it's an incredible experience. It's not just driving a car, it's a whole experience with this car. Well, to me, it's always been an important car. And I think everybody in my age group had a picture of the Countach, a poster of the Countach on their wall growing up. So it's iconic. And the car was inducted as the 30th car in history onto the National Historic Vehicle Registry. So what that means is that Congress of the United States has determined or deemed that this car is important to American history. So one of 30. And I think that says it all about how important this car is to American culture and you know what it meant to a whole generation of people. I never get used to owning it. I still walk into my garage after nearly two decades and I get chills. Um, sometimes I have to go out and just touch the car to prove to myself it's actually real. It's amazing.